There's a bounty on your head, and it's mine! Goddamn bounty hunter! I knew it! Good job! Done. Ah, maybe I'll just kill you after all! Your chariot awaits, sir! You don't seem in a huge rush to collect your blood money. You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of the nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp? It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action. Until we all turned on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally. Beat him up with a fire extinguisher. And I'd do it again. Screw the police. Nothing but the mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. You're preaching to the choir, Pops. What? You're worse than they are. A paid thug of a corrupt legal system rounding up agitators for the ruling autocracy? A puppet on a power trip. I just wonder who's got their hand up your ass. Whoa! Hold on there, socialist Santa. If you want an anarchy off, I'll take you down any day. I wreak indiscriminate mayhem on an hourly basis. And secondly, no one has a hand up my ass. Would you like to look? Listen, nobody's more anti-establishment than me, old man. I hate authority, so watch your tone. Oh, I'm sorry. Hired mensch of the dictatorship, did Daddy not love you? No. Daddy! Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kinda. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. <laughs>